Hello and welcome to Geek Play Studio Tutorials. In this tutorial, I want to show you how to create a snow without using particles. So currently I'm using V11, but if you have earlier versions where you don't have rain and snow available for you, or for example, if you're using even V11 and you want to speed up to creating this snow effect, so I want to show you some tricks how we can create this snow effect without actually using particles and it will be quite a bit fast to render. So right here you can see I create a scenery. So let's me go ahead and render this. Okay, and this is just simple two terrains covered with snow. And I want to create a snow on this one. So let me go first and set my sun maybe a little bit below. And I'm going to atmosphere. I want to just have it a little bit more contrast look. So we'll have it a little bit more cold kind of looking areas. Or maybe grayish. Going up like this. Okay, just also preset a little bit on the sky. We'll pop up our haze. So overall, this is looking like a little bit cold, colder area maybe. Okay, and we can go back and modify it. So next, what I want to do is actually creating um, light source. So we'll go take right here, put it just up front of the camera, run here maybe. Okay, let's increase spread a little bit more on this. And we'll enable this as well metric light. So far, it's look like a normal light going down. The next tricks is we'll go and we're going to modify our well metric settings. The one thing what I want to do, I want to increase smoke and dust. So let's go ahead and render preview what we have so far. You can see we have this lighting kind of creating, but I want to create a small particles to do this. We actually need to take quality and go all the way to minus four. So let's preview. You can see already we have it almost look like a snow particles. To make them even look better, we can go inside repair. Let's set this smaller. So one have a smaller grain. And we'll select the node, add a filter, and add a little bit more contrast on this filter. A bit more distinguish. Okay, let's click OK. Okay, here, and maybe even decrease as well. So preview. You can see we now start seeing how much snow, or actually it's in perfection in atmospheres, but we can have it. So again, we can increase slightly. Okay. You can see we have the packs of the snow going. And of course, if we want increasing more, we can go inside the filter and add a little bit more the white color. White it's what will be process for us as a snowflakes. So you can see right here, we have it much more of them going. Okay, another way is we can increase intensity so that our snowflakes become brighter Notice we have it fall off a little bit in a side, so we can take our light source, maybe pop up a little bit on a spread, maybe a little bit too much in this case. So we don't want to cover a camera. Okay, let's move it. So you can see right here, we can still rework a little bit closer, maybe to cover some of those areas. And as well, we can go inside and modify maybe this one set to 0.4 and leave Z index as one or two. And this is actually will provide us with interesting strikes going down right here, like almost start falling on the snow. Okay, let's go ahead, modify back to one okay 
as well we'll take this filter make it a little bit less drain this way and we'll click OK let's reduce our spread less on the camera so we'll have it cover and again you can kind of play around um, and reduce some of those settings see which one will work best for you or maybe if you want to go from the side creating like a snowstorm going a little bit sideways so creating this way but you can see with this interesting effect with modifying um, volumetric light and with actually decreasing quality we have these points that volumetric light create which look like a snowflakes so you can play more around with this modifying power settings maybe even increasing softness if you want fall out remember this is will string on the middle and less of them will fall on the side so you modify a little bit more beam where it's going but you can create that very interesting effects with a kind of small tip how to do this thank you again for watching this tutorial from geek at play studio please remember visit us on the web is www.geekatplay.com